Always low, low prices at Pahrumpf Valley Auto Plaza. A couple of different things here. Uh, you know, obviously two different size globes. Kevin Swarton is doing what he loves again this fall, sharing his knowledge with students in his STEM classes at one of the Gray schools in Green Bay. Gray schools got a lot of recognition last year when they made the decision to stay open to in-person instruction during COVID, and now they're still going strong. An access, which is that imaginary line. The 190 Gray school teachers settled back into their classrooms this fall, once again for in-person instruction, knowing they're deeply appreciated by their community. Hello, this is Kim. And while the president of the school system says it was their decision not to shut down, as so many schools did across the country, that generated that appreciation, she also knew it was the right thing to do. We were able to stay open. We were able to meet the needs of our students in the classroom. But it was a surprising anonymous cash donation for every single teacher in the school system that really highlighted their dedication to their students. That affirmation for them um, was a big boost. It was a shot in the arm. It really meant a lot, you know, to know that there was at least a parent or someone out there that felt like they wanted to recognize the fact that the teachers um, made that effort, you know, um, to continue the education of the children in this area. Another teacher, Jody Sullivan, says this fall the proof has been in the performance of students who switch over to gray schools after being out of in-person learning. I had students come to me from other schools that didn't know how to write their letters yet, where the students that were in person with us were writing paragraphs. Even with so much of the future still in question for schools due to COVID, Gray Schools Administration is taking a stand to stick to in-person learning. I think educators have to sit around and find ways to get to the yes, we will be open instead of the no, let's find reasons and excuses to not have our doors open. Kim Martinez reporting.